Welcome to the Sykes & Company PA video blog. Yeah, so as a part of the Taxpayer Certainty and Disaster Relief Tax Act of 2020, uh, there's been some law change related to meals and entertainment. Well, for meals, they can be 100% deductible in certain scenarios. Just to give you a little bit of information about the meals and entertainment, um, before 2018, meals were 50% deductible and entertainment was 50% deductible. Uh, however, after 2018, entertainment was excluded. So there was no deductions for the golf outings or maybe uh, watching some sporting events, things of that nature. So now in, for this temporary change for the year, 2021 and 2022 entertainment is still excluded however meals can be 100 percent deductible if they are purchased from a restaurant there's an irs notice that gives specific um, a definition to a restaurant and gives some examples as to what is not a restaurant so so i don't get it wrong i, I have the notice in front of me and what it says is that a restaurant is a business that prepares and sells food and beverages to retail customers for immediate consumption. So, and what's interesting, it also adds, it says that that's regardless of if the food or beverage is consumed on the business's premises. So, if you were to have a restaurant fast food or a a dining restaurant, both of those could be eligible for 100% deduction. If you took the food away or ordered in or had something like a DoorDash or a waiter and the food was delivered, but it was purchased from a restaurant, even though you're not consuming it in the restaurant, you still could be eligible for a 100% deduction. And this again is a temporary change to the tax law and it's applicable to the years 2021 and 2022. And what is not a restaurant? It talks about businesses that sells prepackaged goods that are not for immediate consumption, such as grocery stores, um, a food, food or beer and wine store, a liquor store, drug store, convenience store, or even a vending machine kiosk. So what's interesting about this new update to the law is, it's not necessarily the meal itself that dictates whether it's a 50% deduction or a 100% deduction, but it's more of where the meal was purchased. So if it's at a restaurant, it would qualify for a 100% deduction. But if it was at like a grocery store or a convenience store, then that would apply to the same standard rules for the 50 uh, percent deduction. Well, this change, changing from a 50 percent deduction to a 100 percent deduction could be big uh, for pharmacy owners depending on how much travel they do, uh, the meals that they provide for their employees, and also maybe prospective business partners. So how could a pharmacy, with some real life practical examples, these are going to be some generic examples. So work with your CPA for the specifics, especially if you have a material purchase that you plan on making. But let's say you had a restaurant and you go with a prospective client and you have a meal. Um, well, having a meal at this restaurant would be now 100% deductible as a business meal. Now, let's say you were um, networking and you took some individuals to a football game or a soccer game or something of that nature. The cost of the game would be 0% deductible because of the laws of the Tax Cut and Jobs Act that stays the same, 0% deductible. However, if at that game you purchased a meal that was separately itemized and the price was the regular price that anyone would pay for that same meal so you have a receipt for the meal separate from the activity you could deduct the meal for that activity uh, the deduction for that meal would be 100 percent 
But if the activity included the meal and it was not itemized separately, you would have a zero percent deductible deduction. Excuse me. Um, the next is maybe you have employee meals um, that are required for a business meeting and you purchase it from a restaurant. Now with the new laws, that would be 100% deductible. Or maybe you and some employees travel overnight and you have a meal that's at a fancy restaurant. As long as it's not overly lavish, that also would be 100% deductible. If while traveling you get some food and you prepare it at your um, hotel room, you cook it yourself, that would be 50% deductible because you did not purchase it from a restaurant. And also, if you had a, um, a year-end party, maybe a outing or a party just for your employees and the main focus was not on the highly compensated individuals, but all of the employees were invited, uh, maybe a team building activity, uh, the meals and the activity itself would be 100% deductible. And that law has been this, it, been in place before 2021. So that's a permanent law that things such as activities, team building experiences are 100% deductible. So those are some examples that maybe uh, some pharmacy owners could run into and now take advantage of getting a 100% deduction instead of a 50% deduction as was in the past. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, we invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel.